that is 45 year old Troy Romalo called Rasta of All Boys Town, Georgetown. Based on reports, Romalho had already packed up his stall, which was located between Alexander and Border Streets and was awaiting transportation to take him home. It was while awaiting a taxi he was approached by three gun tooting bandits who held him at gunpoint and demanded that he handed over the valuables he had in his possession at the time. Precious Romalho, wife of the dead man, related that her husband refused to hand over his valuables and was shot during that process. I hear my husband was arguing, and I don't know with who, but all I hear when I was in the second lock, I hear a gunshot. So when I rushed to the front, I see a lot of people was running, and the constable and the revenue lady turned and tell me, um, it's try just get hit. So when I run out there, I see my husband lying on his back. The armed men also managed to take away the man's cell phone along with three gold rings before making good their escape on foot. Constables them and have no gun. Where there you have stars on board the market, you don't have no constable with no gun, no battle, nothing, just walk just like that. You, your protection is, you, you doing a business, you're, you're selling on your own race because all these things, what happened last night, happened in the presence of constables and revenue. The vendor was picked up in an unconscious state and rushed to the Georgian Public Hospital where he died while receiving medical attention. When we go to the doctor, the doctor check him, come out back with the paper and turn and tell me, hand it into the glass case there and give the people a name and his name. When I finished, they asked me if um, you are you alone. I said yes. The doctor tell me sit. When he tell me sit, I sit down. I said everything is okay with him. He turned and tell me, well, let like me tell you, he get shoot, and it is hard, and the bullet move from there and go straight to his heart, and he dead. Closed circuit television CCTV footage was reviewed and is currently in the hands of investigators. Police in a subsequent release outlined that no arrests have been made at the time as investigations are ongoing. For the evening news, Yanala Dalrymple.